hi guys welcome back to this video on Django tutorial for beginners on my channel code with Tommy in this video we're gonna build a simple word counter with Django now basically what this is gonna do we're gonna have a form yeah and in that form a user is going to be able to write let's say a couple of words in a sentence or let's say an article then once the user click on submit it's going to tell the user the amount of words he has in that sentence or article and that's it just going to show the user the amount of words he has in that sentence so let's get started so first of all let's clear all this in the index.html page and let's create a form a new form and let's specify the action to none first it's going to, we're not going to anywhere first so let's leave the action blank and then let's give it an input field the type is what's the type something like text area is there anything like that let me tell okay let's just say text and then let's say the name we have to specify the name and let's say the name is the sentence no let's say the name is text let's give the name text and I think that's it and then let's give another input again but this time the type should be submit this is for the submit button now let's save this and go cross and go check it out now we see now that we have a form in which we can type anything and then click on submit but let's just make it more sensible let's give it a label oh yeah Okay, I think something like this and let's do something like um your article yeah, I think they should do it and then let's give it a br and then let's give this one also a br and let's go check it out and let me refresh this okay now it's saying your article and this was let's make it a little bit bigger I think is there a way we can okay at least let's just leave it like that since we're not working really working on the front end so let's just refresh it okay so that's one one so now what we want to do is once you that type a massive amount of words inside this we want to get the amount of words present in this but this is it's small for or uh, let's say a user writes an article this text area is too small so let's look for text area field in HTML. Sorry guys, I'm not really to okay. I think it's text area here. Yeah. yeah, this is it. This is what we need. So I think we just change this to text area instead of inputs. Yeah, let's test it out. okay now i think we have to close that text area according to this yeah yeah yes in this text area now when we come here and then refresh it again we should have a text area but i want to make it larger so i think i'm going to do columns here columns and rows to make it larger so let's just copy this and then add over and paste it here now we save this and come back to our page okay we should be fine I think let's just cancel this so we have this now a user can type write a couple of words now once we click on submit we want to show the user the amount of words he wrote that's it so for us to do this we are going to create a new a new URL so when a user click on submit is going to take all the old article or everything the user wrote and then paste it on that URL and then that URL is going to count the amount of words present in there and then tell the user simple as that so now for us to do this we need to create a new path and let's call this part now counter let's name it counter and let's name this counter okay so now let's save this 
since we are taking from the views of counter let's head over here and create a new okay let's just remove all this we don't need all this for now i was just showing you guys in the last video to explain what this is so let's create a new function for the counter page and let's name it counter and then let's name it counter.html so let's just copy this whole name and then create a new file in that name so let's head over to the templates file folder sorry and create an html file named counter so now when we come here and then save this i think it should be good i want this to refresh because it's giving us an invalid syntax so i want it to refresh so everything will be fine okay i don't know why it's taking a while so now that we have this what we want to show the user is the amount of words so let's do something like an h2 and let's say the amount of words present is then let's say the user the amount of words so let's just save this for now and then first to do this in our form we are going to send all this data into the counter url C O U N T R, right? So now we're going to save, we're going to send all the data, everything a user types, we're going to send it into the counter URL. Now, in that counter URL, we're going to count how many words that is. So, first of all, we need to get, let's say, what do we need to say here? Let's say the whole text equals to request, yeah, request.get text okay sorry so now let's do amount equals to len then text dot split so since we have this all we just need to do is to pass this amount into the counter file into the counter page so we're going to do something like this let's say amount and let's name it let me show so you guys can see it well and then let's name it amount so now in this counter all we just need to do is type amount okay let's go test this out let me just go to my own directory okay now it's not running because this stopped for a reason so i think we can just opt out of the server So let's come back here and then forgetting how to opt out of okay actually i didn't forget how to opt out of django server but sometimes it takes a while so let's just i think delete this terminal and then run it again new terminal and then let's say python 3 manage dot py run server now once we run this okay the reason why it's giving us an invalid error is because we didn't add a comma note when you're adding another path you should add a comma to the previous part added so now we shouldn't have any error good now when we come to the home let's type in i my name is my name now basically this is one two three four five six six letters sorry six words now when we submit this okay now what it's saying is that type error slash counter it's saying it doesn't have a length basically now what we need to do i think they're saying we need to import length or something like that so let's go check it out let's first see where it's from length equals 30 speed i actually saw this like today let me quickly go to my history guys yet so in this place okay the reason why this isn't working is because we didn't add this here now everything should be fine everything should be very, very fine now let's wait for this to reload it has reloaded and let's go back to our own page now let's type it again say i my name is my name so basically there was one two three four five six now let's click on some you know you see it says the amount of word present is six that's how easy it is 
let's make this more fun and let's say the amount of what present in whatever the person inputted and let's say is so 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 let's send text also the variable text let's give it text and then if you come to counter let's say the amount of word present in text is the amount i think that's how simple it is okay let's give it an h1 tag not an h2 an h1 now when we save this and add back over here let's go to our page and now let's give it let's say more longer sentence let's say i how are you how are you again <laughs> okay i think i'm making some errors let's give it you and let's give it this yeah how are you again so i so i so you and you and you okay i think that should be all right now when we click on some you see it says the amount of word present in i how are you how it shall wrote all the old words that we wrote there and it says the amount of word present in it is 18. so i think this is not cool writing all the words so let's just i think delete it yeah or we can do something like giving it a text area let's do something like this let's copy this text and come here and let's say the amount of words present in okay let me make this a little bit smaller so that we're able to see it well now i say the amount of word present in let's give it a value and let's say text And then let's say is dash so when we save this and come here let's refresh this page okay basically we didn't get what we want but let's just remove that that text with it and let's just say the amount of word present in the sentence in what you wrote is amount as simple as that so let's go back to uh home page and test it for the last time and let's just write chunks. Just writing rubbish right now. I want to make I want to test out a larger speech. So let me say what is machine learning. So if I type something like this, it should give me a much bigger text so I can try it out and make sure our code doesn't have no bug. Yeah, so once we do something like this. I just copy it to this place and I click on copy and now let's come here save it when we click on submit now you see it says the amount of word present in what you wrote is 23 as simple as that I hope you guys understood everything we did in this video because that's the end of this video if you did and if you loved the video please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe and click on bell notification button so you get notified when I drop new videos and if you have any question, please don't hesitate to drop it down in the comment section below. I do answer all comments. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.